Hey guys, this is Matt Kaur from ControlPaint.com, and today we are going to talk about shadow shape. So if you look at this line art right here, it's somewhat interesting, but I would say not stellar. When you turn on shadows, however, you get much more interesting shapes. Just simply changing the angle of the sun really shows off the form in this image. You get much more interesting diagonals, you have much more interesting overlapping, all due to this shape, which is caused by the sun. And especially in a black and white image like this, the shadow is making a graphic shape that's just as important as the forms themselves. So if you learn to wield the shape of a shadow in your illustration, you can really make some exciting images, even if the forms themselves are somewhat mundane. And speaking of mundane forms, it doesn't get much more mundane than a simple still life. So in today's assignment, I challenge you to make interesting compositions with boring subject matter. So if you want to do it on the computer, you can download the SketchUp file that includes this still life. Or if you really want to go crazy, I'd suggest getting real objects from around your house and some lamps and set up, you know, a little photo shoot. But either way, what you're focusing on is taking boring subject matter, but casting interesting shadows with it. So here you look at these objects and, well, they're pretty simple. But by changing the direction of the light, you get really interesting intersections. And I like doing this in SketchUp just because it's so easy to move the lights around. And it's also easier in 3D software to remove all the extra clutter. So if I were to get a real steep angle on this, normally I'd be seeing the stuff in the rest of my room, whether it's tables off in the distance or other stuff. But SketchUp allows me to really focus on these sort of four simple objects. But either way, what I'd like to see you come up with are interesting compositions. So for instance, this shot right here is okay, it's not spectacular. But when I up the contrast and really show off those shadows, it becomes much more interesting. Here I have a really interesting interplay of horizontals and verticals, curves against straight lines, and really these shapes are a great way of illustrating some of the principles of design. Design in its most basic form, 2D graphic shapes, black and white. And depending on the angle you get, you might abstract these shapes to make it hard to tell what they even were to begin with but instead you're left with these interesting shadow shapes. And this is a great time to think about the principles of design. So here I've got an interesting flow through the image. It goes up and over the top of the box, down that cast shadow, around the circle and back. Another interesting result is when your shadows combine into one large shape, and then you have little peaks protruding here and there out of the shadows. This gives a good sense of emphasis because one light object is surrounded by an area of dark, so it creates a natural focal point. It draws attention. And here you can take simple objects and all of a sudden they become much sharper and more dangerous looking because of these vertical shadows. Here there's a nice interplay of sharp verticals at slight angles back and forth all the way across the image. It gives a nice rhythm and repetition. Again, things you learned about in the Principles of Design series. So I'm not going to tell you a number of compositions to make, but really challenge yourself with this. Because it might seem deceptively simple. Well, I just moved the shadows around. But to use the shadows in an intentional way, whether it's in my SketchUp file or on a real object, it is a great test of your sense of composition. Because as soon as you can make a boring still life come to life because of interesting shadows, that knowledge applies very directly to your actual illustrations. So I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with. And whether you want to show it in the forums or on DeviantArt, I'd love to see it. So if you like the video, please click the like button at the bottom of the page. And thanks for coming to controlpaint.com.